welcome back to my channel it's your girl cat the rugged holic if you're new and you're into blogs lifestyle videos and bala on the budget and good vibes then this channel is for you so go ahead and click that subscribe button also turn on your post notification bell so you won't miss a heartbeat when i upload so um in today's video we are doing a full face of makeup uh with a pop of color um for the lid um i'm gonna be showing y'all um in detail from brows to face to lips to lashes the whole nine yard so um without further ado i'm not gonna hold you guys too much in the intro so without further ado let's just get into it so first things first before i move on to the face um so i do my brows first and then i go to my face so makeup is done a thousand and one ways so it's all up to you and your preference of how you like to do your makeup, how you like it, and stuff like that. So, um, you know, again, I'm taking a brush. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up my brows with LA Girl Pro Concealer. And before I move on, I'm going to put some of this stuff up i like to keep my area so wet clean i'm gonna go in with my anastasia um brow clear brow gel and this is definitely um optional this is just to place lay the hairs down you see the difference between this this one and this one See how the hairs is just like everywhere and then the hair is just like laid. That's that's because the hairs are laying down. So I'm taking the water break. I do believe that the brows can make or break your look. So now we're done with the brows. Well, we're gonna move on to the face. Um because I am normal to dry skin, it is very important that I moisturize, prime, all that good stuff. So for my moisturizer, I'm using the Cetaphil. This, I had to change up uh, my skincare routine. So I found out that I cannot use anything that has fragrance in it um, for like my moisturizer and stuff. So, I switched over um, to Cetaphil and it has no fragrance. And I've been using it for the past couple of months. And it's been doing my skin wonders. So I think it's really good. I use it um, on a regular basis. And so, so I just moisturize my skin really well this step is super duper important i don't care if you is oily you get a moisturizer that is for your skin it's like i do have moisturizer and stuff that is for oily skin people but i feel like the whole shebang the primer the moisturizer i just feel like um i know like more higher up advanced um people that's been wearing makeup, makeup artists. Sometimes they skip over some of these parts, but I just feel like if you're a beginner, definitely go through the whole entire stuff. Okay, sorry, my camera cut off, but now I'm going in, I'm still prepping my skin. So I'm going in with my Milani, this is drugstore, uh, Prep and Prime Rose. Um, and this is just the oil. And again, this is just to prep the skin and just give it like that, um, like that glowy look. Um, so yeah. I don't, so I could probably do matte, do my face like a matte face, but I like my skin to be like moisturized and like glowy because of like my, I do use like matte powders and stuff. So I kind of like to balance it out, if that makes sense. Um, then I'm gonna go in one more time with another primer. So this is kind of like a technique to get your face glowy and, and you know, moisturized. 
so yeah so i'm gonna go in with my matte skin base um i had this um i got this like doing the sale for 50 percent off because this believe it or not this is a 30 dollar primer <laughs> and i got it on sale for 15 like i think it was like a year or two ago like a long time ago so yeah you already know especially when stuff go 50 percent off honey the bargain holic is there for sure so i'm using miss anastasia um yeah so most i do have like quite a quite a bit of miss anastasia and we're gonna be in the shade 470 i don't know if you guys can see it and this is the luminous um foundation this came out last year so this foundation was on sale during memorial day for um 28 dollars it's normally 40 dollars so i normally don't spend 40 dollars on a um foundation but if it's like twenty dollars or around about twenty bucks or so and it's something that i've been wanting to try i definitely um hop on it um and i generally don't like spending twenty dollars on foundations but if it's something that is kind of like worth it then i'm gonna try it so yeah oh you know what before i do that i forgot i'm gonna go in with my tart and the tan sand also got this done um 21 or to 21 days i know y'all tired of me hearing about talking about that but if y'all like me and you are like kind of like budget friendly then definitely catch yourself so when i'm doing it with this it's kind of like spot concealer and i'm just taking this because it is like closest to my skin tone. And I just put it like around my small lines and then since I'm kind of doing like a full beat face, um, I, um, I kind of, I make it basically like enhancing up under my eye area. So, and this concealer is um, matte. So if you are, if you don't like matte or drying concealers, then I probably would not recommend. But for us normal to dry skin girls, we definitely can do it. We just have to learn how to, um, we have to just do a technique with it. So yeah, we definitely can do it. So I'm going to be taking my BH Cosmetic brush in the number four. Um, and this is kind of like innocent and I'm just going to just blend this out. Um, you can take your beauty blender or whatever and just blend beauty blender brush, whatever. Um, lotion, but, and I'm just going to just use this brush also from the top book from the crayon case and i'm going to take the shape yellow as you guys can see um yes and i'm just gonna just pop this in my crease area like so yes see guys And I'm gonna just dip it into some more and build. Right now, I'm not worrying about um, blending. I'm just worrying about just um, getting the color, working that color in. We're done with the eyes for now. And I know sometimes eyeshadow can be looking kind of crazy, but you just gotta trust the process. So what I'm gonna do is just, just to clean it up on the side with some concealer. Okay, so 
This is like a foundation top brush. And this is um the number three by again BH Cartman's. Okay, so now I'm going to the fun part. Okay, so here we go. This is a brand new bottle, so you know how that goes. Ooh, I don't know. I think this this shade is just a little bit dark, but yeah, I didn't know this was gonna be a tuck. Cause ugh, that's the thing. Like shopping for foundations online is extremely hard. Yeah, <laughs> it's like I wanted my foundation to be dark but not too dark and i feel like this is too dark so what i'm gonna do is definitely um <laughs> exchange this out uh i'm probably gonna go a shade or two down because honey this is dark I know it may not be dark on camera, but it's definitely a little dark. But that's okay, cause this week you can fix that. Um, so fresh impressions is that it is blending out beautifully. Oh yeah, and I want to tell y'all, oh you ain't gotta use a lot neither. You are I'm blending just a fun okay so now because <laughs> again i was doing this sale on tarp like a few months ago and i got this shade medium and it's way too light baby it's way too light so that's why i kind of wanted like my foundation to be a little bit dark but not like too dark just to um, kind of like correct this. And blend it. And you see, remember how that foundation was? Now look, problem fit. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna move on to cream contour and gauge in the shade espresso. This is like um her foundation, but sticks. But I use it as contour. I'm gonna take the same brush that I use to um, to blend out and to do the mock uh, contour. So what you want to do is you just want to blend up words and not down. And I'm just gonna just blend that on in. Um, loose finishing powder. I normally do um two powders, but honey, it's getting late, and we ain't going nowhere. I'm gonna take this right on off after this video. So what I do is just tap the excess and like that. And just tap. And it's just brightening me up. This um Yeah. 
and it just sit. But yeah, you see the difference? How it just three five five. Maybe they fit me coconut. If you are just not starting to get into makeup, definitely don't go for high end unless you get it on sale. But definitely do try Maybelline. Maybelline, mine. It's popping. So I'm gonna go into the sheet, the brush number eight, bitch, and just contour yeah. Anastasia. Oh, my brush fell. And we're just gonna just clean her off. Send time. Send yeah. Send it Sanitize, yeah, sanitize her off. It's alcohol. Definitely um get your little spray, travel size sprays in Walmart and travel section. Make you some spray bottles of alcohol and um brush cleaner. If you have a brush cleaner, whatever. And just you know, because even makeup artists and just makeup people, period. We, cause oh, we ain't perfect, so we make some mistakes. So it's okay, boo. We might mistake. And just to give me some some depth, some some color pop or whatever, I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna set my cream um, contour with that. Doing Sephora set, and I picked up this. This has been, people rave about this so much. And this is the Michael Smooth, and this is just to set your face all over. I am not got it in the shade um D I think it's mahogany. So yes. People rave about this, so I had to pick it up. And I'm gonna use this as a all over powder in between the lines because when you're doing your highlight and contour and it just like sets the face, you don't want to show where you start and stop on your face. So definitely go on with a, um, like a finishing powder, uh, like an all over powder. And I'm taking the shades B and Ta to I don't know how to pronounce it, it's T-A-U. And I go in between two, oh, and I love blush y'all. I know some people do not like blush, but honey, I love adding color into the skin. It's not too much. Miss Maybelline, definitely don't need to spend thirty dollars a whole lot of money in the highlighter. Go and get you that Master Chrome in um Molten Gold by Maybelline, baby. <laughs> It's gonna be your best friend. And then again, some people don't like highlight, but honey, I gotta have it. I do the whole nine yards. So for the nose, I just do that. And then I just do like so. Cause I just like to beam, honey. I like to be boop. Then I take this or whatever brush and just Wait. So. Yeah. And then the eyeliner and stuff I'm using is by Tarte. I got these bad boys on. So, oh, I used to because one of them I'm out. So that so it's double in it. Um, yeah, this normally costs $24, but, yeah. Oh, let me just, yeah. Oh, you know what? Let me, um, put, 
some little thing uh highlights for my little brow bone. Just a little. Okay, I did the best I could on my wings, y'all. Like I said, I'm not perfect. I'm cool. <laughs> my favorite Morphe Continuous Spray. And I'm using my MAC as well. So. And I used it in, oh, lavender. So these are like travel size. I got three. And it came in the package. Oh, and they were having to sell too on Mac.com. I got those for twelve fifty. It was like half off. So I don't know, y'all. It's just that I'm just blessed with this gift of catching stuff. So things just be coming to me. I be there. My tart. I love this packaging. I'm not even gonna lie to you. This packaging is so cute. And again, I got it done. So, and I naturally have. Oh my god, that is so pretty! Can y'all see that? I naturally have like nice lashes, but and this, this, um, so hopefully, so far, you guys enjoyed this like lick it i got the whole kit yeah, of her minis but we're gonna go into the most popular one which is fussy yeah oh and this is also um on sale now on sephora for I think $29.99. All right, you guys, so this is the final look. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a huge thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, bye.